Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer on Tuesday the 5th of July. I'm Reverend Angela Piverell and we're saying our prayers this evening in the parish of Musselbrook. In Musselbrook we worship on land traditionally cared for by the Wanarua and Kamilaroi peoples and so we pay our respect to their elders past, present and emerging. Let us pray. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, so now and for ever. Amen. The opening canticle is the Song of Three. Blessed are you, the God of our forebears, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed is your holy and glorious name, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed are you, glorious in your holy temple, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed are you who behold the depths, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. Blessed are you in the heights of heaven, worthy to be praised and exalted for ever. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by the goodness of your work from all the work of darkness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 17. We'll read verses 1 to 13 and then 15 to 16. Hear my just cause, O Lord, give heed to my cry. Listen to my prayer that comes from no lying lips. Let judgment for me come forth from your presence and let your eyes discern the right. Though you search my heart and visit me in the night time, Though you try me by fire, you will find no wickedness in me. My mouth does not transgress like the mouth of others, for I have kept the word of your lips. My steps have been firm in the way of your commands, and my feet have not stumbled from your paths. I call upon you, O God, for you will surely answer. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Show me the wonders of your steadfast love, O Saviour of those who come to you for refuge, who by your right hand delivered them from those that rose up against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the onslaught of the wicked, from my enemies that encircle me to take my life. They have closed their hearts to pity and their mouths speak proud things. They advance upon me, they surround me on every side, watching how they may bring me to the ground. Like a lion that is greedy for its prey, like a lion's whelp lurking in the hidden places. Arise, O Lord, stand in their way and cast them down. Deliver me from the wicked by your sword. But as for your cherished ones, let their bellies be filled and their children be satisfied. Let them pass on their wealth to their offspring. And I also see your face, because my cause is just. When I awake and see you as you are, I shall be satisfied. God of grace, we thank you for all the gifts you give us. Grant us to accept both pain and joy, in faith and hope, and never to fail in love to you and to our sisters and brothers, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from John's Gospel, chapter 23, beginning at the 22nd verse. After this, Jesus and his disciples went into the Judean countryside, and he spent some time there with them and baptised. John was also baptising near Aenon and near Salim, because the water was abundant there. The people kept coming and were being baptised. John, of course, 
had not yet been thrown into prison. Now a discussion about purification arose between John's disciples and a Jew. They came to John and said to him, Rabbi, the one who was with you across the Jordan, to whom you testified, here he is baptizing and all are going to him. John said to him, No one can receive anything except what has been given from heaven. You yourselves are my witnesses that I said, I am not the Messiah, but I have been sent ahead of him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom. The friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. For this reason my joy has been fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks only about earthly things. The one who comes from above is from heaven. He testifies to what has been seen and heard, yet no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted his testimony has certified this, that God is true. He whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has placed everything in his hands. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but must endure God's wrath. May your words live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The evening canticle is the song of Simeon, the nunc dimittis. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people, Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Our prayer for the week. O oh God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love toward you, that loving you above all things, we may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And our prayer for this Nadoff week. God of all creation, as we journey together in this great southern land, we pray for healing, forgiveness and unity, creating a path of goodwill with justice and compassion. Jesus, through the power of your love, you have given us the courage, wisdom and strength to share our gifts and talents in humility. In peace and understanding, we reconcile with each other. Creator Spirit, we come together in prayer and thanksgiving for the many blessings we have received. Allow your spirit to wash over us and to give us strength to walk together as one. Amen. As we pray this evening, we remember those whose lives are caught up in war, violence and hatred. We remember those people who are the victims of shootings, those who are caught up in conflict in the Holy Land, and those whose lives have been so adversely affected in the Ukraine. We pray for all those places around our world where the threat of war impacts lives and livelihoods. We pray for all in authority around our world that they will act justly, with honesty and integrity, according only to God's will. 
In your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our church. We pray for the ministry that we bring to the people of this world. We pray for your Anglican communion, Lord, and especially our archbishops and bishops as they prepare for the Lambeth Conference. We pray for our diocesan bishops, Peter, Sonia and Charlie. And we pray for all clergy and lay leaders as we seek to bring your word to the people of this region. Transform your church with your spirit of wisdom and truth that we may always be witnesses to your risen life. In your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our communities, those in which we live and work, those in which we worship. We pray for our wider communities and for all of our families and friends. And as we pray for those we love, we also pray for those who are forgotten and undervalued in our society. We pray for those people in our communities whose lives have been so adversely affected by the weather recently, those whose lives are again up in upheaval because of flood. We pray for our Prime Minister Anthony, for our Premier Dominic, and we pray for all who serve in government or public service. We pray for those who are suffering, whether it be in mind, body or spirit, and we especially pray for those who are dying and for those who care for them. Breathe on them your breath of life and bring them to your mercy and grace. In your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the immortal souls of those who have died recently, that they may share with all your saints in the joy of heaven, where there is neither sorrow nor pain, but life everlasting. We pray for the souls of those whose anniversary occurs at about this time. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Almighty God and Father, your Son has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love. Bring us to bow before your throne to re receive your love, pardon, mercy and grace for all eternity. Lord, hear our prayer. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May Jesus, the Lord of peace, give us peace at all times and in all ways. Amen. <laughs>